All right. Good morning, everybody. Thank you for coming. My name is Sergeant Vince Lewis. It's V-I-N-C-E-L-E-W-I-S with the Phoenix Police Public Affairs Bureau. Uh, to introduce you to the family today, we have uh, the victim's wife, Kamaldeep Kaur, and her, that's spelled K-A-M-A-L-D-E-E-P. Last is spelled K-A-U-R. Um, the victim's mother, Jaspal Kaur, spelled J-A-S-P-A-L-K-A-U-R. Uh, the victim's father, Balwant Kaur, uh, pardon me, it's Balwant Singh. It's B-A-L-W-A-N-T. Last is spelled S-I-N-G-H. The victim's brother, Paramjit Singh. It's P-A-R-A-M-J-I-T. S I N G H, as well as a cousin, Mickey Gill, M I C K Y G I L L. Here, as a family representative and a spokesperson for the community, we have a uh, Rana Singh Sodi, spelled R A N A S I N G H S O D H I. Just to give you some background on the uh, incident that we're here to talk about today, this is a request for public assistance in locating the suspect in an armed robbery homicide that occurred on Monday, August 8th at 1230 a.m. This occurred at the 7-Eleven at 1601 East Southern Avenue in Phoenix. Uh, on that morning, Phoenix police responded to the shooting at the 7-Eleven. Uh, an unknown male, the suspect, uh, described as uh, wearing uh, dark clothing, covered head to toe, with a mask over uh, his face and gloves on his hands, armed with a uh, firearm. Entered the store, robbed the clerks at gunpoint. One of those clerks, the victim, who did not survive the incident, his name is Aramjit Singh Tor, and that's spelled A-M-A-N-J-E-E-T, S-I-N-G-H, T O O R. Uh, the suspect robbed the clerks. Uh, after emptying, having them empty the register, he moved them to another room inside the store, uh, a back room. Uh, in that back room, there was a struggle over the weapon between Mr. Tor and the suspect, a uh, result of which Mr. Tor was shot. The suspect uh, briefly chased the other clerk out of the store, uh, briefly returned to grab a bag uh, that he obtained during the robbery and then fled the area on foot. Uh, it's possible that he left at a vehicle, but we don't have that description. Uh, surveillance video was released uh, to media about a half hour ago. You should have that at your news desks. Uh, we're asking anybody from the community with information about this suspect or the crime that took place, please call Phoenix Police. You can also call Silent Witness. That number is 480-W-I-T-N-E-S-S. -S. You may also call in Spanish at 480-T-E-S-T-I-G-O. Uh, 7-Eleven Corporation has uh, upped the reward. They've generously donated to the fund. Uh, callers with information to help solve this case could earn a reward of up to $11,000 in this case. I'd like to turn it over now to the family and the representatives to uh, assist with that plea for help in solving this case. If you could please take the mic and pull it. introduce yourself. I'm Mickey and I'm Ajit's cousin. It's a very tough loss for us. Um, he was a very caring, joyous, loving person. He worked hard to take care of his wife and family. Um, he showed nothing but kindness, love, and respect towards everyone, all the customers. If there's anybody out there who knows anything about this incident, please help our family and call the silent witness line. Um, Sonny is survived by his wife, parents, and brother. That was his nickname, Sonny. Sorry. Thank you. Uh, behalf of my community, 
and behalf of the Singh family, I request uh, to our community in large in Phoenix, and I really appreciate the way of Phoenix PD taking care uh, this family and uh, working toward the community also. And I think it's very helpful. And uh, my humble request to the community, especially on 16th Street and Southern neighborhood, please come out. Somebody must be know what happened that night. And Mr. Thur was shot and killed innocently. He was working at his workplace, and he, even he gave hand over all the money, what he has it, but he still got shot. And we are a new immigrant in this country and love to be uh, the neighborhood and part of this community and this country. And we request to the community in Phoenix what this incident happened to come out and please help go to the silent witness and help the, the family to get this person behind the bar because he's still out there and it's very dangerous. He had a, you know, a weapon, assault weapon, which one that took Mr. Thur life. And we want this person to as soon as possible behind the bar to protect not only Sikh community, protect all other people who working at their night shift or day shift at the, any convenience store or gas, st gas station. And I hope uh, our community can come up. And uh, the 7-Eleven Corporation with the officer mentioned, they come up with $11,000 uh, reward for somebody uh, have information to go to the silent witness or Phoenix PD to have information given to that. And I think it's really, really helpful to the community, to the family also. I really thank you for the media. I think if, if we get this message out and we get to resolve this issue and, uh, and help the family. Thank you very much. You want to say Okay. Uh, at this time, I'll open it up for minimal questions. Uh, do you believe this is in any, in any way connected to the victim's ethnicity? No, I, I not at this point. I don't have anything to, to lead to that. Just to clarify, you said that um, th there was a fight over the weapon at some point? From what we could tell by the surveillance, there was a struggle over the weapon. Does that mean that you think that uh, Mr. Tor at one point tried to overtake the suspect in that back room? I can't speak to that. You mentioned dark clothing on the suspect. Was there any pop of color anywhere? Bandana? Was it camouflaged? Uh, I believe you can tell by the photos that we sent out that the bandana was cam camouflaged. That gun, you know, that, that looks similar to an assault weapon. Have we identified the, the type of firearm that that was? Any kind of leads on that? or? It, it appears to be a submachine gun similar to the Tech 9 brand. Do you believe this is connected in any way to the serial shooter case? I don't have anything to lead us to believe that at this time. Would the family like to tell us something about Sonny? What kind of man he was? Mickey, can you tell? Yeah, I mean, he was hard working, working 12 hours a day. Um, went to work every day, I mean, for 12 hours from 2 a.m. to 2 p.m., um, five, six days a week to support. He, his wife just came from India, immigrated from India about four months ago, and they were together in the United States for only four months. He was just beginning his life, and his life got taken away. He was starting his family. He was... always happy joyous person in the family I mean he was we never had anything negative to say about him all the cousins everybody that's standing there I mean, who liked loved his company he doesn't drink doesn't smoke no drugs at all I mean he was 
like the role model for most of us out there. Can you go into his nickname, Sonny? Sonny, well, usually at the, I mean, we have two names given at birth. One is like the official name, that's like his uh, Amanji tour. Uh, that's on his passports and everything, but nickname the family even in the in the immediate family like parents and all that our friends Cousins we know him by Sonu and that turned into Sunny at work So everybody knew him at work by Sunny all the customers Did he have real, real relationships with his customers? What was he like with his customers? Um, the that day when I went to the store, um, we're outside the police uh, tape. Uh, they wouldn't let us in. Uh, a lot of customers came in, and they knew him, and they said he was always joyous, uh, never, um, I mean, always work. They always found him working hard, cleaning stuff, and, you know, he was a hardworking person, joyous person, loving his customers. He never got angry about anything out there. Never did. If the person who did this is watching or listening, do you have something you'd like to say to him? The person took somebody's life for a few dollars. I don't think it was worth it. The family that he devastated, they're going to suffer for ever. I just want to add one thing. Uh, when uh, I had a discuss with the brother yesterday, and he had a concern about he hand over the money to to the robber, but why his brother get shot? And he asked me this question, and I have uh, no idea. I say I don't know yet, you know. But he say he gave the money, whatever he want. His hand is up there in the air, and why his brother get shot? And even he killed Mr. Thur and follow the other cashier. They are both are immigrants. And and we don't know what's the story, but when he asked me this question yesterday, I can answer. And if he want money, the money is hand over why he shot him. And and even he shot the Mr. Thur, then he followed the other. I don't know, I didn't watch the video, but and somebody tell me he followed the other cashier to trying to kill him. And we don't know yet all these questions yet. And the family want to know that. I know hopefully, you know, we have it suspected and we get solution all those things. What do you think is the true motive behind all of this? Can you bring any personal experiences of anything similar that has happened to you or any of you? My personal experience, uh, most of the people, when see the immigrant people with a different color skin, they treated very badly. They treated we we are, and they don't treat us because I own and run a store gas station, and one of my brother was killed after 9/11 at Mesa gas station, and still last 15 years we still not treated right, and people give us finger, people come to our store and yell to, and spit on your face, all those common thing with the different looking people though. It's a very common thing. And and all those things happen after the 9-11. And we don't know on that incident what happened, but when he raised the question yesterday, you know, he hand over the money, why he get shot? Even he got shot and he want to kill the other cashier too. And he follow him while, you know, he was robber after that, he, he trying to kill him. And we don't know what's going on. You mentioned your brother. Was that Balbir Singh Sony? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Uh, well, this concludes this portion of the uh, of the uh, contact. If you have any other questions that you would like to ask after we've concluded, then uh, please we will we'll stick around. Thank you. <coughs> oh, uh, please feel free to take a flyer. Uh, the flyers will also be available on the silentwitness.org website.
Dee, can you tilt the picture a little bit for us? We get a glare. There. That's the print. Very heartbreaking time for the family, a very heartbreaking press conference just held at Phoenix Police Headquarters. The family of Amanjit Singh Tour, a clerk at a 7-Eleven, that clerk shot and killed his family pleading with the public any information you have to bring justice is welcome. We all, you know, part of the, you know, gas station store, 7 Eleven, so all those And things. your brother was also shot in an armed robbery situation? No, 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 no. That, that was, was a hate crime, though. Okay. That was after 9 11, okay. though. No, he was mistaken for a Muslim yeah. you know, right yeah. after 9 11. I remember yeah. that. Frank Roke was yeah. the guy. Wasn't yeah. he? I'm sentenced to death. Yeah, Frank Roke. Yeah. Yeah. You're right. Yeah, yeah. I remember that. Yeah. What, what is it that you could say about your religion that there are misunderstandings that people may not know? Actually, uh, our religion is turban. Yeah. Is is kind of uh, when the uh, start wearing the turban. Oh. Our uh, tenth guru he started, and it's basically give the identity to people can identify from thousand people to if somebody need help they can go to reach that person can help them and uh, they they can uh, protect them and uh, any uh, you can trust them. That's the that's the way of you know uh, he started the wearing a turban to people to be part of the religion. If if thousand people standing and you have a turban and people say you, you don't need to find a person, there's one per people person with a turban you can trust him, and he can protect you. The way of the religion started. That's the purpose of the turban, and we the Sikhs are peace loving and and a warrior and protector. And, and stand for justice. And being a Sikh, if you see injustice anywhere, you should stand up yes, and, 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 and fight for that. Then you're Sikh. If you, if you don't do those, then you're not. Was Sunny a Sikh? Hmm? Was Sunny? Sunny Sikh, but he don't wear a turban. So he born, like his father wear a turban. So sometimes the young teenager, you know, they don't follow the religion, they don't want to be, you know, wear a turban. Do you think this was about more than just money, that this was about race? Yesterday when my brother asked me this question, that's raised this question. Because he already had the money from the draw. And then he took him in the bag from get the money, which one he took the money from there. And then he asked me, he took the money, why he shot him? Then after that he want to kill the another cashier. 
he followed after he killing sunny he followed the other cashier then he ran then he saved his life so what would you want to say if the killer is watching and hears you what would your words be i think uh, you you can't say it, you know i can't know you know i can't point one thing but the thing is i'm still working on my gas station and we see those thing people come to and yell to us go back to your country you know because i recognize very quick with the turban but mostly people go with the skin color all those thing and immediately after 911 there are 16 murder in one week all the immigrants and two people with the turban get hurt i'm sorry and rest of are without turban because their skin color and and could be you know you never know so until we resolve and i think the community need to come on somebody must be know you know and that intersection is pretty busy at intersection you know what's going on and saw it and people need to come out and and tell the you know in law enforcement to get this person behind it's very dangerous to to all the community you know um your brother was killed tragically in the intervening years have things gotten any better no i don't see that <laughs> anything happen anywhere in the world any activity i see i see do it or any terrorist attack anywhere we get affected area period we get affected i be in this country almost 30 year but after 911 our life is changed a lot after 911 though how long had sunny been in the country by the way 6 year and his wife this is so sad his wife just be part in this community four month back so so sad you know everybody come with a dream have a better life happiness for children all those thing and after four months you lost everything i was so shocked but but when i think about his wife who, who just in four month in, in this part of our community and he, she lost everything and that's the sad part you know I, i look at it all. yeah did sunny have any kids any kids no not yet i don't think they have kids i think maybe they as they plan they didn't want to have a home and settle then they have kids you know they didn't have any kids how would you spell sunny s u n n y or s o n n y s u n n y okay yeah mm-hmm. and just say your name again for my name is rana r a n a sing s i n g h sorry s o d i h i is it is there a hyphen between the same so that's my family name sorry and every person who belong to sikh religion last name is singh or middle name is singh sorry is my how many uh, sikh members would you say are in the community in in, in, in about